Hi everyone, Tori here with another Project Life Process video called New Hairdo for You. These photos were taken last year, February, and they are photos of my mom, my sister, and I um, getting new hairdos. We all went and got our hair done at the same time. And I had a whole bunch of these and I didn't want to put them on a regular scrap book page so I decided to do them in a Project Life page and use this month's um, Studio Calico Cert Kit to make it. So I started by going through all of the cards in this month's um, kit. I received the, the Project Life main kit but I also got a card and stamp spring set and that's where that sun and the hello card come from. And so I'm starting the way I start all of my Project Life pages. I begin with the photos and place the photos on. And then I try to fill up all the empty pockets with um, cards or paper. And I move things around as I go. I'm, I'm sort of willy-nilly about it. Like I don't stay with one thing. Um, I just go with what makes me happy. And what was making me happy today was the color pink. Well, let's be honest, pink makes me happy every day. But I wanted to make an all pink page because I just thought it would be really cute. And I really wanted to use that picture or that Project Life card with the sun on it. And it had yellow and pink in it. So I thought those would be the colors for the spread, yellow and pink. So first I began by grabbing cards from the Project Life kit and um, from the and from the spring stamp and card set and then I started going through scraps of paper that I had left from um, my scrapbook pages and decided to cut those into 3x4 or 4x6 cards to use as well and um, just filling up all those extra spots and uh, matting some of my photos. Sorry I don't know what all the papers are called but they basically all came from either the scrapbooking main kit from Studio Calico or from the Flying Trapeze kit and I'll link those before and if you really want to know what something is and you can't find it just uh, leave me a message in the comments and I'll try to figure it out for you and uh, this is sort of how I do all my pages first I pick the photos and lay those out and then the cards and once those are all set and the pages are all filled with cards and photos then I go back and I add the embellishments and that's exactly what you're gonna see here now I had one spot left that just didn't have anything and I didn't have any other papers in the kit that I wanted to use so I decided to go into my stash of Project Life cards and see what I could find so I ended up grabbing a 4x6 card with pink lines on it and then another polka dot um, card and also one with a camera that I'm going to fussy cut around and place on the back bottom card. Now, I don't actually know where all these cards come from. I know the one from a camera comes from a Becky Higgins core kit, but the polka dot one at the top and the one with the lines, I'm not sure. I think I received them in Studio Calico kits at some point. Um, the reason I don't know where all my cards come from is because of the way I store them, and I store them by color. And I really like storing them because, by color because that's sort of the way that I scrapbook. I pick one or two colors that I really like and go with that. Now I decided that that bottom pink card um, just needed a little more definition. So I grabbed my mini ink blending tool and my color theory ink pad. And the color is Flamingo. And sort of inked up the corners of that. And then I'm going to round all the corners and start gluing things down and adhering them where I think they should go. This was such a fun, a fun page to make. I love all the bright colors. It's mostly pinks and yellows, which are my favorite. And I also really like the subject matter of the photos. Um, I remember this was a really fun day for my mom and my sister and I. And I just, I think it's fun to just spend time with those that you love and then be able to document it. And that's one of my favorite things about scrapbooking is that I can just sort of keep track of all those memories. And also these photos of my sister were taken just before they left, before she left for Africa. So it's even more special to me um, because we were just spending time together and we had a lot of fun. And then we all took selfies afterwards um, of our wonderful brand new hairdos. <laughs> So I'm sort of going back and forth here between adhesives. I'm using my glue gun, which is one of my favorite tools. And I'm also using X-Press-It 
um, double-sided tape sometimes. So that's the white tape that you see me pull out every once in a while. Now one of my favorite things to do with Project Life cards is to cut around them and use them as layering pieces instead of using the whole cards. And you've seen me do that twice on this page. I did that with a camera in the bottom card and also on that I Am Loved card that is currently in the top um, left hand corner. And what I'm doing now is I'm just playing with some of my washi tape and seeing what I can do to add some layering and embellishing. Just before I started this page, I was tidying up my desk and I had some washi tape and I was putting it away in one of my drawers. And then I noticed all my washi tape and I thought, I should use this more. So on this layout, I've used it in a couple ways. I used a strip behind the camera and then I also used um, a clear tape with some writing on it and also a piece of red tape for that bottom right hand cor card just to add some little embellishments to that corner. And the, I'm just layering up a bunch of words. They say things like thumbs up, let's do this, good times, lucky me, just for fun. And um, I really like the way that that turned out. So I'm still using my faulty, sucky, <laughs> that's a horrible way to say it, my horrible corner rounder that gets stuck and jammed and drives me crazy. I haven't purchased a new one yet. I'm still trying to decide which one to get. And thank you everyone for leaving comments on the last Project Life video, giving me some ideas. The problem is you all gave me different corner rounders. So how am I supposed to know which one to get? I'm just teasing. It's not your fault. I just uh, I just haven't made time to go get one or to figure out which one I want to use. So I will figure that out. And then once I figure it out, I'll let you know which one I got because... I'm sure you're all sitting riveting, a uh, riveting, riveting? In, I don't know what the word is. I, it's really late. Okay, you're all sitting in anticipation of finding out what corner rounder I purchased. I'm just teasing. <laughs> so instead, I'll get back to the layout. Um, what you saw me do there with the sun was use my clear wink of Stella pen to add some sparkles. And you can't see it really great on the video, but in person it is so cute. And that card is just adorable. And then when you add sparkles to it, it just makes it better. Because, let's be honest, anything with sparkles makes it better. Honestly, when I die, can you all write to my parents and let them know that I want to be in a sparkling tomb? Oh my gosh, that's so morbid. <laughs> okay, just ignore me. Maybe you should mute me. I think it's really tired. <laughs> I'm really tired and I should stop talking. But I really wanted to make a process video because I haven't made one in a couple days. And, and now there are so many of you waiting and listening to me be crazy at um, 12 o'clock at night. Okay, I'm going to focus on the layout and then not say anything stupid. And hopefully um, you don't think I'm crazy. I'm sorry, I've had a really busy last couple of weeks. I had um, two full days of training last week and two full days or two full days of training plus another training night this week. And it's really exhausting doing training all the time. It's so tiring. And then I come home from work and I'm just exhausted, but I want a scrapbook. So then I scrapbook and stay up late, which isn't a good combination. So I'm tired. Sorry, you'll have to forgive me if I say anything really ridiculous, okay? <laughs> so I'm just going to um, move on with the rest of the page now, which is the embellishment part. And this is my favorite part and where I typically tend to go way overboard and probably do way more than I should do. Um, but in my books, more is more and I struggle to do less. <laughs> So I'm speeding it up a little while because it actually is a long process of just trying to figure out where everything goes. But just to give you a little picture of what I was doing, I grabbed some sentiment strips from the Studio Calico scrapbooking kit and used those around the page. And then I also used some other labels and tags. Things like bless this mess or baby you're a firework or beautiful or you look swell. Things like that just all over the page. And now I'm adding my title. And I'm adding my title using these white letter stickers that I think came in the Studio Calico scrapbook kit this month. 
and I'm actually running out of letters so I'm doing this fun technique that I really like doing it's using the um, negative of the photo so if you see the white letter that is the positive or the actual letter sticker and then if you're seeing the part that looks like a fine line what I'm doing is cutting out around the empty spot and using that for a letter and I actually really like the way it looks I think it's uh, unique and a great way to get a little bit more out of your letter stickers um, more bang for your buck as they like to say and I'm just adding what I think looks good and what's pinks and yellows and the colors that I'm going for. Um, I did grab a couple things from last month's kit um, or the last couple months kit just if I didn't have enough things um, and just adding here and there. And well I'm doing this I am trying to stick with my color scheme of uh, pinks and yellows but if I find something I really like that's in a similar shade I'll use that as well. Um, I've pretty much completely killed the February cert kit, so that's why I have to grab things from my past kits or things that I had in my stash because I'm almost out of embellishments and I didn't have enough things left. So I've used a couple of chipboard pieces here, like that triangle that said O and then the circle in the bottom card. I've also grabbed some enamel dots from my stash and some other journaling cards and other things. Um, I'm going to use this pink flare badge that says beauty and I think it's really cute on the photo of my mom getting her hair done. And I also used some cork stars that came from Studio Calico a long time ago. I'm going to use my Dear Lizzie date stamp and some black stays on ink to stamp the date February 22nd, 2014. And then I'm going to add my journaling. And it just talks about us getting our hair done and um, spending time together and how much fun we had. And on the top card, I'm just writing something sweet about my mom and sister. Like, oh, how I love you. Oh, how I love my mom. And oh, how I love my little sister, my baby and my mom. Yeah. And now I'm going to slow it down and show you the photos. So while I'm doing that, um, one thing I did want to say is today is March 5th and you have 10 days left to enter my 500 subscriber giveaway. I have a link of it to in the description and I hope you'll join in. It's to win a $25 gift certificate to Studio Calico. Thank you everyone for your amazing sweet comments and your likes and your thoughts. I really appreciate you. Have a lovely day everyone. Bye!